Hey there guys, welcome to another video in which we'll be looking at some more War Thunder. And this is not live commentary, I'm just I'm talking a little bit in this video about what's been going on recently. And yeah, I'm just giving you guys a little update on some stuff. So, in this video we are playing the M41 Walker Bulldog on the Carpathians map. And this was one of the most awesome battles I've had in a very very long time. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but in this match we're playing the Carpathians, like I said, and I'm not sure whether or not it was night time or if it was morning. I'm not entirely sure, but it was a map with heavy rain, and it was a relatively dark match, which was insanely cool. Um, I'll be talking about the match a little bit later on in the video as well, but just look at this guys it's so insanely cool to have the whole weather effect in a battle like it's the first time i believe that i even played a match with a tank where i also had rain and a relatively dark environment and i did pretty good in this match as well so i really really had the time of my life now the m41 walker bulldog is definitely one of my favorite tanks so you could um, probably expect a video about a tank sometime soon um, i might do a in-depth analysis on it i know i've done a video about it in the past um, which was a good video you can definitely check it out i'll probably post a link in the description and if i forget to do so just search for m41 walker bulldog on my channel and you'll find it but I kind of want to redo that video and go more in depth about the tank and I've definitely gotten better with it so yeah that's one thing. Now as you guys might know I was on vacation in Norway um, two weeks ago or three yeah two weeks ago and I've been back since one and a half week right now and since I've come since I've came back I took things a little bit slowly um, I made up some really really great ideas for videos um, in Norway because I had a lot of spare time there so I had a lot of time to think about what I actually wanted to do and there is some pretty cool stuff coming in the future as well. As you guys have seen I've already started a Dark Souls playthrough and I'm planning on doing a Dark Souls 2 playthrough and a Dark Souls 3 playthrough when it comes out as well so definitely expect those games. Now, I'm not sure how many Dark Souls fans um, are out there among my subscribers. Um, you all probably are subscribed for War Thunder, but I do want to keep a broader, a broader audience than just War Thunder, which is also one of the main reasons why I am playing Dark Souls. But I'll talk about that in one second as well. Let's quickly go back to Norway. Norway is one of the most beautiful countries I have ever been. It is so unrealistic when you are there. The one moment you're pretty much driving in between extremely rough mountains with fucking cliffs everywhere, it's it's just insane. And a moment later it's like you're driving on a Russian on a Russian grass field or whatever. It's a really cool country. I'll probably show you guys some pictures in this video as well. Um, just so you kind of know what I'm talking about. And one thing that I noticed in Norway is the water there is so incredibly blue it's, it's just almost surrealistic to put it like that. Like in the Netherlands most water is slightly brown slash greenish and it can be somewhat clear but in Norway it's literally like the water comes straight out of one of, of a movie or something. It's just it's mind baffling. I have some pictures of that as well so you guys can see what I mean. But Norway is an absolutely gorgeous country. Now, you shouldn't really go there for the nice weather and for the sun if you want to get brown or something. Um, it, it, it's not the warmest country to put it like that. You're better off going to Spain or something at that point. But Norway is a really really good country to go to if you just want to do a road trip or whatever or if you want to hike and then have some nice nature around you as well. It's an awesome awesome country. And I also got myself a souvenir when, when I was on vacation. I got myself a Scandinavian knife. Um, I've done my videos in the past and I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to continue those videos. But if I am then I will definitely 
um, talk about that knife as well because it's a beautiful knife um, so yeah that's basically my vacation I'm back now and I'm definitely hoping to make um, more videos in the near future to put it like that I've kind of been spending my time on thinking about how I want to design my channel because recently I've been going through a lot of changes I focused my channel around War Thunder mainly which I haven't um, ever really done I've never really had a main game and I'm trying to figure out what sort of videos I can make next to vehicle analysis and just fun gameplay videos I want to do something more original as well and I'm still drawing some plans for that and I'm not going to spoil too much of it I'm gonna keep it a surprise for you guys but expect some different War Thunder type of gameplay um, in the future as well because it's definitely going to come so yeah I'm I'm quite excited all in all I've really got some ambitious plans going on and yeah I want to tell you guys about it but I really really can't well I could but I don't want because that makes it even more fun for me so yeah now among all things soon the British tanks will be coming out which I am really excited for I don't really know much about the British tanks except for the Churchill tank obviously like who doesn't know the Churchill tank it's probably next to the Sherman and the Tiger one of the most iconic tanks that served in World War 2 so I've kind of been waiting for those tanks to be released and I'm not entirely sure when the release date will be um, it might be one month it might be one week I'm not entirely sure so that's another reason why I didn't really upload a lot of videos I was just waiting and waiting for the British tanks to be released and they just didn't come and now I'm bringing you guys this this is a battle I stumbled upon like last week or something and I just had to show it to you guys so yeah but British tanks you can definitely expect some content about those I have no clue what they are going to be like um, I'm just gonna be surprised I guess like I know I tell you guys a lot of interesting facts during my videos about the vehicles I play but generally before I make a video about the vehicle I look information up about it on Wikipedia and on other internet sources and uh, Wikipedia isn't always quite reliable so I prefer consulting other sources as well so I can learn some historical facts about the vehicles myself and tell you guys about them which is a lot of fun and just to give you a slight hint history will become more important in my future videos as well I'm not gonna tell you in what way but it's definitely coming so yeah the British tanks are gonna be one massive surprise for me I'm not even sure if I'll like them or not um, the things I know about them are that generally their armor isn't angled properly so mostly their armor is reasonably perpendicular to the ground which usually means it's quite easy to penetrate but then on the other hand the British do have very very thick armor on a lot of their tanks so I honestly have no clue if that's going to outweigh the lack of angling. We will see, we will see how they will perform, uh, perform and we will see if they are going to be fun to play or not. Like personally I'm a big fan of fast light vehicles with medium caliber cannons, um, hence the reason why I'm playing the M41 Bulldog. Um, I just like the speed in the battle. I like kind of being under the radar, being um, covered all the time without enemies knowing my location so I can basically flank them or snipe them, things of that sort. I'm a really really sneaky player and I'm not really the type of guy that likes to take a very heavy tank and then just go straight into battle taking all hits and shooting back once in a while you know. That isn't really me, I, I like light tanks more because they're just so much more intense to play and so much more fun to play for me as well which they're just my type of grind to put like that so yeah I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to talk about already but we've got approximately one minute left on the video so yeah this is gonna get kind of tough 
<laughs> I have to improvise now. Like, I literally got a list right here with things I wanted to talk about, and everything is checked right now, so... That obviously is a little bit of a problem, but hey, it doesn't matter. Now, I guess I could start asking you guys for uh, a few things. Yeah, yeah, I should definitely do that. So, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? That's, like, I've got some ideas myself, but I didn't really ask you guys what you really want to see. So, if you have got some cool ideas or plans for videos, just leave them behind in the comment section, and I might look into them. Uh, maybe I'll use those ideas completely or maybe I'll combine them into the plans I already have for videos. We'll see. But just post down in the comments what kind of content you like to see and I will definitely look into it. Now this video is going to come to an end very soon so I would like to thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed the video consider liking, subscribing, or sharing, whatever guys. Then I would like to thank you for watching. And see you next time.